ChatGPT, as we know, is truly extraordinary. I seriously did not see something coming like this for a long time. It is absolutely fascinating and a crazy tool. The amount of things that it knows on the weirdest libraries is just awesome to me, and I love it. I have saved hundreds of hours with it, making it code various things and give me instructions. I have also, in the recently, wasted many, many hours using it, like genuinely wasted that I would not have wasted otherwise because of some of the things that I was doing wrong with it. I mean, I wasn't just being stupid. It, uh, you know, it's prone to, to some errors and I'm gonna teach you how to get around that. Now where it shines is absolutely where there is the most data. Where there is the most data available, it will absolutely more likely give you a correct and better response and be able to adapt and do more clever things with that. Now, so if it's a general Python function, JavaScript, some popular language, if it's a popular framework, NumPy, TensorFlow, whatever it may be, probably got your back for that. You can do some clever manipulations. You can use some of your prompt engineering techniques if you want, but I, I mean, I really don't think that you need a course like that, to be honest. I, I think just fighting with it and providing relatively common sense information to it, treat it like a person and you have to give it the full information available and ask directly what you want. That's, that's really what prompt engineering is about. So just do that. So I absolutely recommend using ChatGPT along with your work. I make sure to pay for the paid API so that I get access to the new stuff so that I always have access to it if I can. It's, uh, it's not always worth the paid subscription for everybody. The free, I've seen people use it. It is often just fine. I just like to make sure that I have it because I do a lot of coding and I like to use as much time as I possibly have. And in general, ChatGPT is a time saver for me. It writes a lot of functions for me. It gives me advice. However, uh, it's prone to some errors. So here's how to get around them. Now, if it shines from having a lot of data, if where it has the most data, it's most likely to give you the best response and be able to do the most with it. It should be that when it has less data, it is, you know, less confident because it should be less confident. It has less data. However, it is precisely as confident as it is when it really knows its stuff versus when it doesn't know its stuff so well. Uh, when it literally knows zero, like if it cannot provide any information at all, then it'll it's going to say you something about its September 2021 cutback or whatever point uh, where it just doesn't know things. If it has basically any information, like if you're talking about something vaguely about programming or about Python or something, but it doesn't know specifically what you're talking about probably going to still come up with something because it has a lot of information around that topic but in terms of what the problem that you're actually trying to solve it's really not going to help at all so i'd like to let you guys know that uh, seriously like i've wasted a lot of time on it recently because i'm getting its help for these more complex ideas different approaches on more architectural like patterns different coding techniques occasionally using libraries that are pretty niche uh, a lot of the python stuff is actually pretty niche uh, a lot of it's more popular in javascript but regardless no matter what language you're using there's some tools that are occasionally just pretty niche. ChatGPT knows it, and so it's going to talk about it, but then it doesn't know it quite as much as it should. Anyways, I, I'm not trying to just rant to you guys about how I've, I've wasted some time. I'm trying to help you, letting you know seriously that be careful. If you are trying to build something out, do not blindly trust it. In fact, it's more important than ever that you have a very strong understanding of the base skills that you're working around, and I would be careful about using it too much in areas that you don't know a whole lot about. I mean, you can find out quickly if it's not hopefully hopefully you can find out quickly if it's not going to work try a couple things if it's not giving you what you want i would definitely recommend learning the skill more before uh, tackling it more because many times it has given me many instructions that are going to take uh, possibly several hours each and the problem is if if there's one step that's broken if it's like genuinely like a broken pipe like you, you can't really get past that step all that stuff is not going to work and so if the broken pipe is on say step five you do step one two three four then step five is you know you can't do it so the whole steps one to four are useless and you can't really you, most of the time you can't really do anything with that it, it was tailored to that particular technique so make sure that you know what you're talking about before you start using it too much you can use it for things you don't know but be careful about using it for things you don't know if it's going to take a lot of time to uh, to do a lot of the steps and then to see if it's going to work you know for example like a function in go or whatever and you just want it to try to do that before learning the language go cool for it yeah try and try and let it do it but don't spend like five hours hours trying to just fix it up when, you know, clearly there's either another way or you can learn the language yourself and then you can help make it like work faster. You can be like, hey, you're wrong here. The amount of times I have to tell it, like I have to recognize very closely, I stare at ChatGPT's response and it's going to tell me something confidently. I can pinpoint like, no, that's that's not right. And so I tell it that this part's wrong. It says, my apologies, how could I possibly do this? And then it gets it wrong again, or maybe it gets it right, but you have to be very careful. Uh, there's a lot of pitfalls and I love the the tool. I love, love, love the tool, but you have to be very careful of if it's saving you time or if it's costing you time. And definitely if it's costing you learning, because if it's just a trade-off,
stuff if it's still going to take a long time to use it but then you're not really learning the new thing that you're trying to learn instead if you learn the new thing and then you do it you've both done the thing and you've learned something new so that you're better off in the future so it's, it's a it's a trade-off make sure that you learn as much as you can as well that's uh, yeah, that's the whole point of this channel this is to help, to help you learn i hope that was helpful providing some insights maybe it was just a therapy session for me on uh, letting you know about my disappointments of the last few days <laughs> um but uh anyways yeah no seriously you have to be careful with it uh, but it can be a great tool if you know what to do have a great day guys subscribe if you're not already and bye-bye